So these are notes for the Higher Physics course, uh, Unit 1, Section 0, so that's 1.0, Vectors, Scalars and Acceleration. This note is Part 1 and focuses on Vectors and Scalars. And the numbers in the left, on the left-hand side will represent the learning outcome numbers and you can cross-reference these with your PDF course booklets. So we're going to begin by looking at the distinction between distance and displacement. So we'll uh, start by indicating direction north, as you can see in the diagram. And we'll imagine a very simple journey of someone walking from uh, a starting position A, walking due north for four kilometres, represented by the arrow. This is a sketch, so the lengths are just uh, approximately correct. And he goes to point B, and at point B, he takes a right turn through a right angle, like that, and he moves to position C, which is where he finishes. And that eastwardly section of his walk, B to C, uh, is seven kilometres long. Well, the distance that he's travelled is quite straightforward. The distance is the actual number of metres he's covered. Uh, so that's clearly four kilometres uh, in the northern section plus seven kilometres in the eastern section, giving a total of 11 kilometres. So 11 kilometres is the distance that this chap has travelled. If we want his displacement, though, uh, the displacement uh, is a vector quantity, whereas the distance is a scalar quantity. So you'll notice the distance has no direction, uh, whereas the displacement does have uh, direction. And as you know from National 5, the displacement, uh, we are calling this S in the diagram, uh, is the vector sum of the two displacement vectors, 4 kilometres north and seven kilometers east. So we add these tip to tail, as the diagram shows, and the red vector is the resultant displacement. Now, to specify the displacement, we need to acknowledge that it consists of two parts, uh, a magnitude and a direction. The magnitude, as you know, is found quite easily from Pythagoras' theorem. So basically, S squared is equal to 4 squared plus 7 squared. 4, 4 is 16, 7, 7 is 49, 49 and 16 is 65. So S squared is 65, take the square root of that and you get 8.1 kilometres. So that is the magnitude uh, sorted. What about the direction? Well, for direction we use uh, tan theta being opposite over adjacent. You can see I've marked in the theta there. The opposite side is 7 and the adjacent is 4. So tan theta is 7 over 4. So theta is the inverse tan of 7 over 4. So when you do that, you'll find that theta is 60 Point three degrees in this case. So how do we quote the fact? That's the direction, incidentally. So how do we quote the final answer? Well, we use a three-figure bearing. We're on the flat surface of the earth here, so we can use a three-figure bearing. And we say that the displacement S equals 8.1 kilometres at 0, 6, 0 degrees. We don't need to put in the degree sign, we just need to put the three-figure bearing in brackets. Remember, a three-figure bearing is the angle measured round from north, and in this case, theta is giving us the three-figure bearing directly. So, that's the difference between uh, distance and displacement.